Hello and welcome guys to another Idle Hands video. So let's continue our campaign in uh, in Idle Hands and let's crush some more of our enemies. So uh, the tip of the day, not sure of the resource cost of each type of fur link, hover over the, uh, the icon and you will see. Okay, so hello old furling. Enemy defenses are already strong here. You'll need all your new powers to defeat their soldiers and reclaim this land for your followers. Any enemy buildings placed close together would be a perfect target for an earthquake. Well, you can use lightning to give their soldiers a real shock before they reach your borders. Alright guys, so uh, let's press space and let's see where is the enemy. Well, it looks like the enemy is on the right side. Now we have to do something, um, something about that. Uh, first of all, first of all, let's expand our land. I mm. think I should expand in this area for now. Um, or no. Let's lower the land here and let's make it flat again. Right. This way, guys, we can make blacksmiths. See, they cost six wood. Uh, hmm. Yeah, usually we should make. I should make uh, uh, woodcutters, but I wait for these guys to build their their blacksmiths in order to be able to. As you can see, we have a little. Uh, flat area here that they can use so um, we will make blacksmiths first they will build their uh, blacksmith and then um, we will uh, build let's say wood camps in other sides of the map for example here we need farms and um, we need farms and wood camps Okay, so let's go to the origin stone and let's make only wood cutters. Next time I will make wood, so don't worry about that. Alright, let's just um, make the land flat to make it appropriate for building something. Okay, now in order to get more mana, in order to get mana faster, you need more furlings. So the best way to get more furlings is to assign them different tasks. There I just made a farmer. And uh, right now, I don't know, I will make another farm and afterwards I will make more woodcutters. Because the woodcutters does not cost anything and if I make, uh, if I turn more furlings into workers, I will need uh, to to give them food and I need to have food first I need to produce it and for that I need the farms so yeah uh, let's check our enemy let's see how are they doing mm, they are doing pretty good they have a lot of uh, farms woodcutters and they have blacksmith uh, one blacksmith they have one blacksmith um, we should uh, always be ahead of the enemy and by that I mean we should um, develop our economy faster I will make one last woodcutter uh, pretty much everything you're gonna do in the game will require wood so that's why I want to fully make use of my wood cutters therefore the limit of wood cutters I can have is 10 therefore I want to reach that limit as fast as I can and so I did now let's make another farm let's make Prius now the Prius will give you mana faster as long as you have Prius you get mana faster and faster and faster the four is very is a very good idea to to get mana in this uh, in this mission because you have those uh, two abilities 
uh, the earthquake and the lightning that will uh, will strike the enemy pretty pretty badly. All right, uh, let's place the totem here. As you can see, we're going to be under attack very soon. Let's make three soldiers. Uh, we just need one more furling. Okay, we've got three three soldiers. As you can see, my enemy prepared a passage in order to reach my uh, my land, so I will have to defend this, and therefore I will place my I will place the totem there, and the four links will go to that location. Okay, guys, let's uh, make another priest in order to get more mana. Okay, so far so good. We just need. Um, more land for ourselves that's it all right let's see we have new four links we don't have enough iron so I'll make another blacksmith I need like five blacksmiths the limit is five the enemy army is attacking so we just uh, we just have been notified that the enemy will attack us okay we must do something about it and the only thing we can do is to make soldiers. Let's make another blacksmith. As you can see, we have a lot of wood. And we don't have much iron. Therefore, the iron production must be increased. The wood production is good as it is at this point. We don't need to increase it anymore right now. Anyway, uh, I almost reached uh, the limit of food. The limit of food production is 50. But um, the limit... Um, uh, uh, but since we have only seven farmers, the limit is uh, is 30 at this point. We can have 10 farmers, which means 50 production of food. Now let's place. Let's make, for example, another soldier, and then uh, I'll make another priest. I need two irons to make a priest. Let's make okay. I just made uh, a farmer. As, as as soon as we get another um, another furling, I will make a priest, and this way my uh, okay my f uh, my mana will increase. Now let's strike. Okay, these are not the attackers, but still let's strike them with the lightning. Bam! One of them is dead. Only one of them. Um, they are dead, guys. And my uh, my soldiers are fighting with them. That's good. But guess what? We can use the earthquake ability very soon. I will use it, and we will deal a, a um, striking blow to the enemy. They will never forgive us for what we're about to do to them. Okay, the enemy soldiers arrived and they are fighting with us. I need more troops. I clearly need more troops and I need to start invading them. So let's place the totem inside the enemy base. Inside the enemy village. Let's make uh, two more soldiers. We need to constantly reinforce our units over here. As you can see, I just killed... Uh, an enemy I will kill another enemy but this guy needs help over here this guy over here needs help yeah he's dead poor guy poor guy oh anyhow guys let's see let's make one more farmer and one more soldier looks like we only we only had uh, iron for one soldier okay let's use the earthquake ability to weaken the enemy while we do the attack with the soldiers. Okay, I can make a second earthquake. So let's make it here. Basically, I'm hitting the food production of uh, the enemy. And this way, the soldiers will be weak, you know. But okay, my soldiers will uh, will very soon reach the enemy border. I can make two more enemy, two more soldiers. It's very good. 
Okay, let's use the earthquake ability more often. Here, I will use the earthquake ability here. As you can see, I will hit two temples and the enemy will generate uh, mana. Not as fast as they did when they had the temples. Okay, that was a very, a very smart hit as you so I destroyed uh, three buildings. And I will place another earthquake here in order to destroy three more buildings. At this point, let's make, let's see, two more soldiers. Very beautiful. Right now we have 11 soldiers, guys. The soldiers will uh, will fight the enemy and will, um, will make sure that the enemy will be destroyed. Let's see. Uh, what to make? I will make... Uh, the next, the next earthquake here in order to destroy a wood, a wood cutter, uh, I mean a wood camp, a blacksmith and a farm. Basically I just uh, decreased the production of uh, three valuable resources. Okay, let's make two more soldiers, let's increase our army and now we have 13 soldiers. How great. I feel more secure. I could use the lightning ability, but look, if I use the lightning ability, the enemy, oh, the enemy just used uh, the earthquake power against us. If I use the lightning ability, the enemy can use the um, storm ability, as you can see, the rain ability, and the fire will go away and the building won't be destroyed. But of course, because the enemy just used um, that earthquake ability against us, he didn't had he doesn't have enough mana to to use the rain ability against me. Anyhow, I will use the earthquake ability again against the temple and uh, the other blacksmith, and this way the border of the enemy decreases all right guys i will use the earthquake ability again to destroy these two farms but in the meantime let's make two more soldiers bam let's get back to the conflict area good our soldiers are invading the enemy and with my abilities I am destroying uh, the enemy buildings. I just destroyed two farms. As you know, the farmer, the farm, the farm costs three wood, and if they don't have um, enough food, they won't be able to feed the peasants. All right, uh, I will wait until I can use um, the earthquake ability again. And I will uh, destroy two more buildings. In the in the next missions, guys, we will get access to meteors and volcano, and this way we will do more damage than ever against the enemies. Okay, we can make two more soldiers, three more soldiers. That's beautiful. Okay, our, our army increases. The enemy is in danger. Okay, let's use the earthquake ability here. The border will decrease. My soldiers will be able to advance further without being able to, without being necessary for them to stop and destroy any more buildings. You know. Okay, I can use the earthquake ability. Let's use the lightning ability. Oh my god, the lightning ability costs a lot. Looks like I destroyed that building with one strike. It's pretty impressive. But as you can see guys, the enemy is overwhelmed with my units. Which means that I did very good both economically and military. So the enemy is overwhelmed with my units and the enemy is about to lose this battle. Okay, let's use the earthquake ability here because I want to destroy these two buildings. Oh, 
I cannot use the power too close to the enemy origin stone. Right, I just destroyed the wood camp or not, only the blacksmith. Oh boy. These two wood camps will uh, be automatically destroyed because they have no worker. Now, this wood camp has to be destroyed. Okay, let's use the lightning ability. As you can see, the enemy used the rain ability. I don't know how much this will help. But it looks like we are victorious, guys! The enemy won't invade this land again in a hurry. Good job! So, uh, guys, thank you very much for watching. It took us 15 minutes and 15 seconds to finish it. How beautiful! And imagine that I was born in 15 January. Just pure perfection. Thank you for watching and I wish you have a great day. Take care of you. Bye-bye.